Hello, welcome to my dining room. I just wanted to show you what is in this big package. Really big package. So it is from Bay Photo and it is a print. And it is a damaged print that I ended up having to get replaced through Bay Photo's um, quality control. And they were able to replace it just fine, so that was good. I, this was a sold, um, sold project. But I want to show you the bad one. There's a 24 by 30 copy of View from Heaven. And it is on the Hannah Mule Burrito paper. So it's on a you know good quality fine art paper. And it's taped, taped in real well, so you have to give me a moment. View from Heaven was taken down in the Great Smoky Mountains. It was taken about a year and a half ago. It was taken with a uh, Nikon D7100 and actually an old fashioned 70, and I'm sorry, 80 to 200 lens. 70 to 280, um, I don't remember the, the aperture on it, but. It's an old lens I was working with at the time, and it actually came out really good. So I'm going to handle this print with my white gloves because it, I'm probably going to end up framing it and putting it on my wall. So my walls are a little bare at the moment. I'm between between art uh, between art displays, if you will. I'm kind of upgrading everything to a, a higher quality Hannah Mule paper on the walls just because I like it better. So here's the print, View from Heaven. See, it is signed. I didn't even notice the defect until after I'd signed it because it was such a minor defect, but I probably can't even get it on camera. But there was a, a, a slight um, problem with, I think, with the paper. The printing looked good. Um, there's a line in it, which is right around in here, but I really can't pick it up with the camera. But just look at that finish. That's just a smooth satin finish. And it's just gorgeous finish. And it just really brings the print to life. So that is a view from heaven. 24 by 30 on the Hannah Mule Burrito Fine Art Paper. done by Bay Photo because I don't have a printer yet that's one thing I want but even even the printer I'm looking at the Canon Pro 1000 won't print anything this large so I didn't have to go with Bay Photo anyway um, but they do a really good job at Bay Photo um, I've had a couple prints come in with problems but they always replace them very quickly so they've got a slight minor you know slight problem with them but um, the customer service makes up for it and they they ship them out really quick when the reprints so so if you're thinking about 
ordering from Bay Photo and you want to try the fine art papers, I highly recommend it. And I highly recommend this one, the Hannah Mule Fine Art Burrito. It is just gorgeous for landscapes. So, I'm going to slip this one away and show you one other thing. It's also, it's a real heavy weight, so it's, a, it's, it's nice to work with. It's, it's not too light and not too flimsy. Put the bag over it for this for a moment. This is a print done on a Canon Pro 2000 printer. I had it done at a photo expo that I was at in Manassas a couple weekends ago. They had the, the big printer sitting there doing prints for people and I really like how this came out it's got the same innards as the as the as the printer that I'm looking at the Pro 1000 it's just got a bigger um, print um, size uh, back, a better maximum print size and it, it can print off for rolls which is why this is kind of kind of rolled it came off the end of a roll so that was pretty rolled up now this print is called Enchanted Road. It is from um, Shenandoah National Park, Skyline Drive. Get some of the glare off of it. It was printed on a Canon Pro Luster paper, and it is very nice. I like it a lot. I'd be very happy with it was my printer, and it will be someday. At least the Pro 1000. As soon as I get enough demand uh, for the prints, right now it's it's more cost effective to just print them at Bay Photo get them shipped in as I need them but that will change with time so as you can see it's just got a really nice kind of pebble gloss to it on the Pro Luster highlights and shadows are, are very well controlled on this paper so back to this print View from heaven. I'm putting it away. Um, got it back in the bag now. And just the moral of the story is if you're thinking about printing and you really want to take it to the next level, try the fine art papers um, either through your own printer or through Bay Photo. Um, through Bay Photo, they are pretty expensive. So this 24 by 30 was $107. But it is gorgeous. So, I think if I was to do this on my own, including paper at home with the Pro 1000, it'd be about twenty to twenty-five dollars worth of uh, worth of print. But that is an estimate, and I could be slightly off. So, oops. I hope you enjoyed seeing this print. Um, thank you very much, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.